Jim Angle in for Brett Baer. The man considered by many as the patron saint of the Tea Party movement is taking the first step toward running for president again. Texas Congressman Ron Paul announced about an hour ago that he's forming an exploratory committee. Correspondent Mike Tobin is live in Chicago with the details. Good evening, Mike. And you know... Good evening, Jim. You know, this seems like an inevitable marriage as that very motivated section of the population that in large part has always agreed with Ron Paul's ideas has taken root with the American right and they became known as the Tea Party. He gets out into Iowa. He makes this announcement to form his exploratory committee just in time for the first of the Republican debates. Now, if you remember back in 2008 or in the run up to 2008, he was moved off to the fringes or the sidelines just a bit because of his opposition to the Iraq war. However, his ideas about small government, huge spending cuts, coupled with tax cuts, have the attention of motivated Republican voters. The one reason why most people expect it to be quite different is the country is already quite different. I believe there are literally uh, millions of more people now concerned about the very things I talked about four years ago. Now, Paul said today a big issue in this campaign will be inflation, the price of everything from gasoline to food. He talked about a revolution, which he said will be led by young voters. That is fascinating um, because last uh, in the last campaign, it was very obvious uh, that young people uh, were attracted uh, to to the message I was delivering, and rightfully so, they should be because, as far as I'm concerned, they're getting dumped on. Uh, a lot of problems. They're expected to uh, pay a lot of taxes and not get a lot of uh, remuneration backs, and difficulty getting jobs. Now, Paul says that he'll make a final decision about running in May, but by announcing his exploratory committee today, he can start raising funds and ultimately transfer those funds to a presidential campaign if he wants it to make it official. Also, by announcing his exploratory committee today, this qualifies him to participate in the first of the debates. This will be a Fox News debate to be held uh, in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, the 5th of May. Jim? Mike, thank you.